Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US in Andover, Minnesota. And I'm here to bring you another live paper crafting class. But I have so much to chat about today. <laughs> um, first of all, I hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, just gonna click a couple buttons here. I wanna make sure I'm good to go here. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. For those of you that live in the US, Thanksgiving is a holiday where we give thanks. And um, it was just this last uh, Thursday. So my kids had the entire um, week off. I've been with my family for, gosh, seven days straight. My, in fact, my husband, um, he went back to work yesterday, but he was basically home with us most of the time too. So it's been a full house. Hello, everyone. Hi, Don. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Deb. Those of you that don't know, I am recording this live, so if you hear me saying hello or responding to people, it's because I'm having conversations with those of us that are watching. Thank you, Kathy. Awesome. Oh, it's good to see everyone's names pop up. This is so great. It's been over a week, because last, uh, last week I broadcasted on Tuesday. My kids have been home from Wednesday through yesterday. They just went back today. Um, my dad also, um, those of you that have been following along, my dad had surgery on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and he is doing great. And I want to say it's thanks to a lot of people's prayers and well wishes also. Um, it's amazing how he is recovering. Uh, they always say that the third, fourth day is a little rougher after surgery, and sure enough, that's when he was the sorest, at least that I saw here at home. But um, the day he came back, which was Thanksgiving Day, uh, I had prepared a little dinner with the help of my husband and my boys, and, and we had some food ready for them. Um, when my mom and dad came back from the hospital, we had like you know soft potatoes and jello and things like that too, because so, he had surgery on his neck area, two vertebrae taken out and replaced with titanium. Um, hi, you guys. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so the swelling would be in that area, right? Because that's where his surgery was. And so the forecast was that he was not going to be able to eat real food for several days. And he did great. He had little tiny bits of turkey and he had stuffing and he had the traditional Thanksgiving food to the best of it. He even had rolls. My mom put butter on it so it would slide down easier. And he had a, a wonderful dinner Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> so thank you for your well wishes and thank you for your prayers. Um, if you wanted to hear more about it, I think I blogged a little kind of recap about it on November 30th. Okay, so yes, I'm very chatty today. I have so much stuff to tell. Okay, so my kids, going back to my kids for just a minute, <laughs> um, they've been back for a week and my youngest, who, you know, I have to say, he's he, he's challenged with getting up in the morning. We'll just put it that way. Um, it's the hardest time for me to deal with him. And so... <laughs> But this morning, he was all gung-ho. Uh, first day back to school, he set his alarm, which he's been doing for months, but he never shuts it off. We always have to shut it off for him. But he got up to it this time, and I shouldn't say always. He's had some good days in there. Anyways, today was a good day. He got up at 6, and I doubted that he was going to do it, so I didn't get ready till after they left, which put me at, like, barely enough time to get ready for you guys today. <laughs> so I'm coming in with makeup and hair just done and i'm i'm excited that uh um, i'm ready for you but it was frantic last minute stuff um the space behind me i want to tell you about that too so you see there's a missing drawer it's over on that side right okay so yesterday i'm just crafting along my friend vicky spicer who um acts as my assistant she helps me out a lot um she was here and i opened my drawer and the drawer front came off and i'm like what? So <laughs> it's been very frustrating um, about that because I don't know how to fix it and that that unit is like gone. Um, when I wanted to redo my room several years ago, I think it was like four or five years ago now, um, I don't know how long it's been. Anyways, that those kinds of units were the ones that I wanted and I couldn't find them anymore. So I know I cannot replace that drawer. So dad, if you're watching this video, <laughs> I need you to heal quickly because I need your help. <laughs> So anyways, I have a missing drawer. It's all my stuff is on my table back here. It, there wasn't a lot of it, but it's still enough where it's making me self-conscious as I'm doing live. So you're just going to have to, you know, understand that there was a problem. Okay. So thanks everyone for joining. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. So I'll just share that right now. I'll also share the fact that 
I have an order sitting outside because I was, again, last minute doing my hair and makeup and the UPS guy came because I overnighted an order. Demonstrators got to pre-order some stuff early. I'll tell you more about that. In fact, I'm going to show you some of our pre-order stuff in our project today. Wood glue. Thank you, Diana. Yes, you know, but it's actually kind of mangled. There's, it's, it's that, um, hang on. It's over here. <laughs> It's, it's not, I mean, I don't know if it can be repaired with glue. Do you see that? Oh, it's too, too close to you, too bright. Anyways, there's like chunks that just kind of, it's almost like termites were in it. It's bad. <laughs> you wouldn't have noticed, Maureen? Um, really? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start. Um, so sorry for all the little chit chat in the beginning. Okay, this is a live paper crafting class. I love it that you guys are chiming in with me. Because it's live and because it's recorded, we draw for prizes. So if you want to get in on a prize, you just need to say hello. You just need to tell me where you're from. Give me some pointers on how I can fix my drawer. Um, <laughs> I do need a carpenter, Linda. <laughs> okay, so um, yes, and I'm going to have a fun one today. Today I'm demonstrating an acetate um, card box. We have these boxes that hold cards, like the full-size cards. And I took one of these boxes, I created some gifts with them um, for my team for an event that was called On Stage that we just had through Stampin' Up. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. But I'm gonna show you another version, a Valentine version, because they make really cute little sectioned off gift boxes. It's called a section clear gift box, there you go. I'm gonna be using products from the, and here we'll just uh, go like this so you can see. We have new catalogs around the corner, you guys. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> we have the spring catalog, formerly known as the occasions catalog. The spring catalog is um, going to start on January 3rd, and the celebration brochure, which includes an awesome bundle of awesome collection of free products to choose from during our celebration promotion, that begins June. Uh, June? Did I say June? January. January 3rd. They both they both start January 3rd, so in about a month. Demonstrators. If you are a demonstrator, you know what I'm talking about. We can pre-order as of yesterday. And some of us could even do an extra pre-order after we got back from that event called On Stage that I was telling you about. So I have several of the products already in my hands, but then I've got a whole big bunch of stuff sitting outside on my front step, and I'm excited to get to it. Okay, oh, speaking of that, um, just in case you have to leave early, 2.30 p.m. Central Time is my goal for sharing what I got in my box, and I'm gonna share it on my Facebook page group. So if you're not part of that group yet, um, I don't post a lot there, but I do little extra videos in there for sure. Um, that's gonna be at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, again, Stamp Your Art Out with Rachel exclusive group. And you can find that by going to my page and looking for groups, and there's only one group. Okay, so. <laughs> So fun stuff, fun, fun stuff. Okay, let's pull in the paper. This is the paper that we're gonna use. It is called From My Heart. And it's got 12 sheets, they're specialty sheets. Look at this. Specialty sheets of this designer paper. It's perfect for Valentine's Day, weddings, love cards, um, you know, that kind of stuff. On the back side, you have some more of the real red and flirty flamingo colors and designs and hearts and stripes and all kinds of good stuff. So um, the colors in that are flirty flamingo, real red, and whisper white. So I'm gonna be using that today. I'm also gonna be using a new stamp set called Peaceful Moments. And it's actually part of the Peaceful Poppies bundle or suite of products, but there's a sentiment in here that I think is perfect for the box that we're gonna do. So we're gonna use Peaceful Moments, that's also new. Another new product that we're gonna pull in are these heart doilies, and you can see they come in two colors, but it does say in the catalog that it also comes in Whisper White, because sure enough, you can turn it over, right? You can turn it over and you've got Whisper White. So there's actually three colors if you think of it that way. We're gonna be using a product called From My Heart Faceted Gems. These are not self-adhesive, but they look like little tiny rhinestones in different colors, and they have that kind of an iridescent look to them. And we're gonna add a couple of those with glue dots. We're gonna use some new punches. 
And the punches come in a bundle of two. Whoops, you can see the reflection up there. A bundle of two, and um, one of them is a regular punch, and the other one is scallop and fits underneath it. So you got some good layering going on there. It coordinates with the paper, by the way. You can punch out many of the hearts that are in that paper. Um, what else is new? Um, I am gonna share this ribbon, but not on the project. So this is our double stitched real red satin ribbon. It's in 3 8 inch width. But the ribbon that I'm gonna use on the actual project that I'm gonna share is the basic black scallop 3 8 inch ribbon. And this is retiring. This is retiring. Um, it's going away and it's actually 20% off right now. So you'll wanna get your hands on it. Speaking of products, let's go to, let me set it up here. There we go. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so these are the supplies. And I already mentioned the ones that are new. Um, I mentioned the, the ribbon that's retiring. So take a screenshot. If you do not know how to take a screenshot, I encourage you to figure out what device you're using. If it's a computer, a phone, um, an iPad or something like that, Google your device and find out how to take a screenshot with your device and you'll be able to do it. Otherwise, oops, looks like I don't have backups for 26 days. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you will uh, be able to see these this list again this Saturday because I'm going to post all of this information. I'm going to post the video and I'm going to post close up photos of the project um, on my blog on Saturday. Okay. Oh, speaking of my blog, let's see. Is that it? Nope. That's my Facebook. There it is. So if you don't know where my blog is, it's stampyourartout.com. Good morning, everyone. Lois had a, a hard time deciding what to pre-order. I say just order it all. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, at least order 450 worth because then you get a half off item. <laughs> Guilty. Okay, um, so now we are, there's, there's where you're at right now, you guys. We're gonna go back to my desktop um, so if you don't know where you're at, you're at um, Stamp Your Art Out with Rachel on Facebook if you need to come back. The heart punches are awesome, aren't they? Yes, I agree with you, Roseanne. Okay, so we're going to bring in some stuff. Let's start with Whisper White Cardstock and Flirty Flamingo. And I did say that they were scraps, so we're going to zoom in a bit here. And we're going to stamp one of them with an image from Peaceful Moments that says... Thinking of you with all my heart. Makes sense, doesn't it? So we'll just ink that up with our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we'll stamp that down. I like to have rectangular pieces of scraps, um, or you know, at least longer, so that when I use my punch, let me show you. Using your punch, you can have a place to hold it. If your scrap is like, Going to fit only inside your punch you're going to have a hard time getting your fingers in there you can use post-it notes there's tricks for doing it but i like to have just kind of like a little handle here hope that helps some of you okay make sure this is straight okay there we go and i've already punched out but yes you would do the same thing you turn it upside down and you'd punch out your flirty flamingo scrap and we're going to bring in one of the red doilies okay let's go ahead and layer these together so good morning marie Good to see your name pop up again. I love seeing familiar names, it's so much fun. Okay, so we're gonna just put that right down in the middle here. And this one, same thing. This is going to embellish the box. So we're just kind of getting that set up off to the side, along with, we'll need 17 or 16, 16. 16 inches of our ribbon. So 12 plus four, is 16 and I've lost my snips that is set aside for ribbon. I think I've just got too big of a mess in my room. You guys don't see it, but I have a mess. Okay, so we have those pieces ready to go. Um, we also, you know what? I have to alter my directions because I may want to put, no, I'll just do the ribbon on the outside. Okay, and our box is ready and we've got that done. Okay. Now let's bring in, I'm gonna set some stuff back here. Let's bring in our paper. This is the hard part, you guys, so you gotta pay attention. <laughs> All right, we're bringing in the paper. Um, I'm gonna show you the finished one. 
uh, but it's not done with this product. Okay, so let me share you share with you what we're doing. This is the gift that I gave to my um, members of my Stampers with Art group that attended on stage. Can you see it? It's kind of got a glare off of it. Um, so it actually goes this way. <laughs> so it's a clear acetate box, right? It's made for our card boxes. And inside I have two sections and I'm going to show you how to cut those. We're going to be using 16th inch measurements. I'm sorry. It's it's the only way it's going to work. <laughs> okay. So be ready for some math. Um, we'll use some shreddies. I just found some coordinating colored shreddies. These little M&Ms here, I just, I'm not promoting M&M.com or whatever. My M&Ms.com um, made these for me though. I asked them to make some personalized M&Ms. You can get those made. It's so cool. I think you can even go to like party stores and get candy that's colored to coordinate with your project. So you could do it that way too. Um, had some bone folders made by Tamara Davis. Um, she's got an Etsy shop and she does some great stuff. And I am promoting her because she's awesome. She helps me out with a lot of my personalized gifts. Uh, and then of course we have the Peacock, oh what's it called? It's the specialty paper in the annual catalog. So I used um, two of the foil designer papers from that for each of the boxes. And I actually made those in different color combinations. So I had this color combination and I also had this color combination. So the turquoise, I think this is, oh, I don't even remember the names of the colors now. This is supposedly Old Olive. <laughs> Old Olive, Blueberry Bushel, and is it Bermuda? No, it's Peacock. It's the pretty Peacock color. So yeah, so we had all these different fun boxes. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> We're finally starting. <laughs> We're going to take this sheet here first. This is our um, large heart one. And we're going to use the large, larger measurements for this. We're going to cut it to six and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And the four and seven eighths is the um, direction, like that's, hang on a minute, got to grab the box again. It's, it's, uh, it's actually this direction, sorry. It's this direction, so this has to be going up and down um, vertically if that makes sense. Okay, so four and seven eighths. This is gonna be fun, I have to tell you guys. I am um, trying that whole monovision thing out again. I started it Wednesday of last week. Um, I have not done any lives with it yet though. What that is is basically wearing one contact in your eye. The other one can see close up and my one contact can see far away. I'm trying you guys, okay. And then the other measurement is six and seven eighths. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see where seven eighths is. Okay, so you see our measurements here. Here's six, here's seven. The seven eighths um, for six and seven eighths is two little notches on the imperial side of the measurements, two little notches back, okay? <laughs> it's math, there's math in this, you guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, um, these three sides, so the long side and one of the short sides. Um, here, let me show you again. Long sides and one of the short sides, which is gonna be your bottom in a pattern paper like this that has direction. We're going, going to go to the half inch mark and then we're gonna to go to one more mark in and that is our 9 sixteenths mark, okay? 8 sixteenths. Eight is half of 16, so that's half inch, but nine sixteenths is that mark right beyond it. And you have to do these sixteenths. I'm sorry, if you're gonna do this project, you can't alter it, because the box is a certain height, it's a certain thickness here, and it's gonna work with the sixteenths, but not with eighths. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take and double that. So nine plus nine is 18, um, 18 sixteenths is two sixteenths beyond. Okay, Rachel, you're getting too far in. Just tell them the measurement. So nine sixteenths and one and one eighth, or one and two sixteenths. Okay, so we're gonna do that to all three sides, the bottom and the two long sides. 
9 sixteenths and one and an eight. Hopefully you can see where I'm going on here. You can, right? Nine sixteenths. It's pretty paper, isn't it, Cindy? <laughs> and one and an eighth. Okay, so this folded into this makes the height of that box. Okay, that's why we have to do the 9 sixteenths. The next paper. The next paper is this one. We're going to use something contrasting. Now this one does not have, ooh, wow, look at that on the camera. <laughs> this one does not have a certain direction to it, like hearts going one way, right? So you don't have to worry too much on this one. This one's going to be four inches wide, yeah. Four inches wide, move that out of there, by five and three eighths. And now we're gonna go back to those two marks again. So nine sixteenths and one and one eighth. And do that on all four sides. And you guys can see, right? Yes, okay. I gotta zoom out when I'm done with this. <laughs> Not great with 16s, Patty, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so when you're looking at the new trimmer though, it's the next mark, literally the next mark because the, the measurements are all divided into 16s. And so if you just look at the tiniest little mark, you're gonna do fine. If you know your eights, that's, that's good because the 16s I think is a little bit easier to find than the eights actually. Okay, so there we go. We got it done all the way around. There's our two pieces. We're gonna put our trimmer off to the side and we're going to bring in our bone folder and tear and tape and our take your pick tool. Okay, this is where it gets fun. Now I'm gonna to explain to you how I got this math. Let's zoom out now. Okay, so I took the box and I measured between this edge and this edge. And that comes out to be four and three eighths. So then I took, <laughs> I took that measurement and I divided it into two sections that I wanted. I wanted a section that was about two and a half ish. And the other section I wanted was, you know, a little less than that, less than that right? So I took my two sections, one was two and five eighths and one was one and three quarters, and that together equaled that distance. And then I just added on the one and an eighth around the edges. So if you're gonna adjust your own box and make it so that you have different sections, just know that if you wanna do that, you have to take that, that width, the four and three eighths, and divide it into two or three, or however many sections you're gonna do, and apply that strategy. Here we go. Let's take the trimmer, or I'm sorry, the paper snips, and we're going to cut now. We're gonna cut on those score lines, and this is the piece that does not have the two score lines at the top. So we're just, we just have to cut notches in the bottom two corners. So we're cutting in here, okay, you see that? And we're gonna cut in here, like that, but we actually wanna have a tab also in there, okay? So we don't wanna cut off the whole corner. We wanna make sure that there's a tab so that we can attach the sides together. So this is what we would normally be chopping out so that now we have a little tab here. But I'm gonna encourage you also to cut at an angle. It's easier when you're putting a tab into something if it's a little bit angled. So we'll go ahead and just start with that angle cut and cut this off and then we can trim this down. And we don't have to trim that down, but we will. <laughs> so there, that's what we've got. And when we fold this, oopsie, this is gonna go this way. When we fold it, this is how it's going to look. Okay, and this little tab is going to get tucked into that area right there. So that it all attaches. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, Ananda said, tell it, call it a tick. That's a good, good term for it. Yes, a tick. It's a little tick right after. Although here in Minnesota, when we call something a tick, we actually are looking for bugs and we don't like ticks. Okay, same thing here. 
we're going to trim and trim. I'm doing the same kind of corners on this. So I'm cutting in, and this is actually the second score line up from the bottom, and this is the first score line up at an angle. This is the second score line in, and this is the first score line in. Okay, we're gonna do that on the opposite side now. So we're gonna cut second score line up, first score line in at an angle, second score line up, first score line in at an angle, remove that, and then we're gonna chop in right there. Sometimes videos are so much easier for explaining things than trying to write things all out in words. <laughs> this is one of those cases. All right, let's get the uh, folds going for this too. Um, and the tape is next, but you have to do the folding first. In fact, I think I might even use the bone folder because I want to make the scores uh, real crisp. So we're going to bring in the bone folder here and we're just going to really emphasize to make sure that those folds are really crisp, okay? Again, you need to do this before you do your tear and tape. Once you've applied your tear and tape, people tend to start taping and then they forget to make sure that they've got it all right. Well, anyways, I made the mistake, so don't make my mistake. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna add tear and tape to the outside edge of this section on the big, big part of the paper, the big paper, this section, and yes, you want it on the tabs, so you want to extend it all the way to the edge there, and on this section here. Okay, so it's going to the outside edge. We're not worrying about the inside edge because this is going to overlap onto itself and connect. All right, so let's do the same thing with this side. Hello, Robin. How are you? It's rainy in Southern California right now. We have pretty decent weather. We had lots of snow, um, which stranded my parents. They couldn't go home right away after the surgery, which I thought was good. I, I wanted my dad to rest a little longer. Um, but we had lots of snow for a few days. And now it's just sunny, but cold. So my kids, they have had a great time outside. My husband took them sledding one day and uh, they've been playing out in the yard, making hills, it's great. We have lots of snow. <laughs> All right, so we have all our tape on the outside edges of every piece. We're gonna start with the tab ends. So this end here, we remove that, and we're gonna fold that over onto itself. Be careful not to do it flat on your table. I did that once, and what happened was this stuck down to my table, or it stuck to my paper or something, I can't remember. But you wanna make sure you're holding it up in the air when you're folding these. Um, which is why you want those crisp, crisp folds in there right away. Okay, so we've got those taped down. Now, before we tape these down, we're going to bring the tabs in like that. Yay, we're forming the little box sections. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. This is so fun. Now we can remove the tape here and fold that over and that will hold our tabs. Same thing on this side, like that. And then let's do this one. We do the outside tab first. Robin Brown, 32 inches of snow in Colorado. That's why we go there to ski. <laughs> Plus the fact that Minnesota does not have real law, uh, big mountainous kind of hills. I mean, we have, we have some, but they're few and far between, so. Skiing is, this isn't, oh, I have to do this first. See, I almost did a boo-boo, you guys, because I was chatting. There, bring that tab in. Bring this tab in. And now we can remove this tape. <laughs> Whoops. And we can fold it over. Okay. Yay. And the reason why this section does not have a top, you can certainly make it longer and put a top to it, but I liked the, the idea of being able to just, to just insert something into the top of the box, okay? So here we go. Let's grab our box. And we've already put it together per the directions. You just, I mean, it's a box. So <laughs> you're just gonna put it together. And we're gonna start with our um, 
we're going to start with the big section here. You want to have the top of your box in the front like this. So we're going to insert this in here like that. And you have to kind of skip over. There's a, a this tab that goes in here at the bottom. You have to kind of skip over that. Now we're going to fill this with some candy. So we'll put some Lifesaver little, I think they're winter, winter, winter green or winter green or whatever. Um, they're those wonderful breath mints. So we'll fit those in there. And ooh, I got over that tab, which is awesome. But you may have to come in and kind of scoot your candy to make it fit right. In fact, in this box, oh, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Um, okay, in this one here, I had to take and fill it and then shake it and fill it again because there sometimes there were gaps because I didn't fill it quite high enough. But five of these little guys fit in here really nicely. And now I'm going to bring in a couple gifts to put in this section of the box. Demonstrators got these beautiful pens, which we can now pre-order, or we can order on the demonstrator side of the website. And they say Stampin' Up on them. They coordinate with the beautiful poppy um, suite. So I'm gonna throw one of those in there and a wink of Stella pen, my lucky crafting friend, right? And then we'll grab some shreddy. And this you can just get at like your dollar store or whatever. That's where I got this one. And we're just gonna stuff that into the top like so. <laughs> I could do a neater job. Here, Rachel. Sometimes if you kind of wad it in a ball, then it stays in shape better. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna close it up. Oh, thanks, Joanne. <laughs> okay, I have to kind of bend the flaps up here. I'm pushing them against my body so I can bend the flaps. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I had to kind of give these a good crease. I will fix this one, I promise. Before I photograph it, I will fix the shreddy. But for now, it's good. Okay, so we've got our tab at the top. I think the shreddy is the hardest part of the box, honestly. <laughs> Once you start cutting those 16th inches, you're going to fly on them. It's the shreddy. I remember the shreddy now when I was doing all my boxes for my team members, the shreddy. That was it. Okay, so now we can take, and we're gonna actually bring this to the back and tie it in a knot. This is our beautiful scallop trim. Again, it is 20% off right now. It was in the, It is in the holiday catalog, and it is going away. So if you want your hands on this beautiful stuff, great for a lot of occasions, not just Halloween. Um, if you wanna get your hands on some of this, you better grab it up place an order before things start disappearing. And I say that honestly, because the next box that I'm gonna show you with the Let It Snow paper, it's gone. As of um, yesterday, it sold out. And I had a cute little project that I was going to share with you. Let's see, where should we stick that? Maybe right there. And then you can sign your name. There's plenty of room for your name. So there's a cute little gift box. Uh, yeah, I gotta adjust the shreddy because it's pushing my box. This is one made with the uh, Feels Like Frost paper. I'm gonna zoom out so we can fit them all in here. I'm sorry, not Feels Like Frost. This is made with the Let It Snow paper. And I fit some nuggets in here, but notice how I had to fit them in there, the Hershey's nuggets. One is upright, one is upside down um, because of the distance here. Got some candy canes in there, and that is where that new ribbon is. This is the Real Red 3 8 inch double stitch satin ribbon. I cut my paper making sure I had my snowmen showing. And there's another little snow guy on the back. So that's another box. You know what, I think I might have to move the, the, um, the fun little heart to the front because this is what you really want to look at, right? Let's do that. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna bring it around. We can do it. Shift, it's so tight, we can't shift it. There we go, okay, we're gonna bring it around. Sorry, I like it better on the front. Oh yes, Rachel, that's so much better. Why did I think to put it on the back? Because the paper is pretty on the back side too. Okay, and then you saw this one. Now this one is going to, without the bone folder, going to become a prize. So I have several of the um, little box pieces left for these, and I will assemble them with some of my M&Ms. 
I'll throw an old bone fold folder in there if you want, because <laughs> I have plenty of those, <laughs> but it's used. And um, that will be the gift that we're drawing for, for this live video. Um, and then next week, when you've had a week to respond to the video and say hello and all that stuff. Um, so that will be the prize. And YouTubers too, you have a chance. So if you're watching this after I upload it on YouTube, you have like four or five days, I don't know, um, to comment and get in on that prize drawing. So let's, let's go to the prize drawing stuff right now, okay? Um, let's see here. I gotta set up my computer, make sure we're there. Hang on. We're gonna go to, um, oh, and I wanna show you something here first. So let me get off of this for a second. Okay, so um, bone folder for sure. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I love it. You guys want a bone folder even if it's used. I love it. I have a ton. Um, they're not like really badly used, but some of them, um, they've been used in my classes. <laughs> so I have a ton though. I will add one if you want one. Okay, the, um, this is my website, stampyourartout.com. And I want to show you how to get to my store. You can either click on shop and go to um, my online store here. Or you can scroll and click on, oops, here it is, shop online. If you want to get to my blog where I share, you click on my blog, and this is where I've been sharing projects. And you can also find a shop, oh, I'm making you dizzy now, a shop online button to the right then once you're in the blog. When you click there, I want to show you where you can find the year-end closeout products, okay, because there's stuff that's leaving. Um, when you look at the left-hand side here, there's categories. This is where you will find the year-end closeout products, and there's two categories there. You can see retiring favorites and then discounted products. So some of the things that are leaving are discounted, and they're not all holiday catalog products in the discounted. In fact, if they're still here, there are a couple still here. Like there's paper pumpkin related products in there. So there's that ribbon. You'll love it, you'll love it, it's great ribbon. Let's go to our, um, oops. Wendy and I are having a conversation there. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Oh, you guys didn't even see it. Okay, so we're gonna go to um, videos now and we're gonna click on last, last week's. So let's grab that. Um, it's right here, the chocolate pocket wine bottle tag. Uh, let's grab the link for that and bring that into our random comment picker. This is commentpicker.com for any of you that like to do drawings in your Facebook pages. We'll click the search bar or the little magnifying lens there. And how many commenters do we have? 176 of you last uh, since last week have commented on that video. So we're gonna click the start button and pick a winner. Now the prizes are different for last week. Um, that was the pick two out of all of those things that I had. So, oh, Punky, Char I, how, I'm gonna say your name wrong. Char Charbonneau, um, you are the winner. <laughs> Yay, from last week. I love that name. I had a friend, and I mean, she's still around. Uh, I just don't know her as well. But she was my best friend when we lived, when I was really little in the neighborhood. Punky. Punky Kitchen. Okay, and now, it, her name was actually um, Barb Kitchen, um, but I called her Punky. Okay, so here we go. Um, now we're on to our YouTube from last, last week. Since last Saturday it's been uploaded, we're gonna grab that and stick that into the comment picker and grab our commenters from that. And I love it, you guys are saying, pick me, pick me, pick me, hi Paula. <laughs> I love it because it sometimes works. Honestly, it sometimes works. 50 commenters on that video. We're gonna start and see how, it's been, yeah, it's been a week. I have, I'm sorry, I haven't read all the comments on all, all the last past videos. My kids have been home. Jody B, awesome. And she said, chocolate and wine, what more, I remember seeing that comment, what more could a, um, could a person ask for? And then she wrote share. Thank you, Jody. Jody, you're our second winner. And those winners get to pick two, and I'll show you the, the prizes for that after we get back here. That was a pick two bundle. I'll pull those all out. Okay, um, and then today. So you've had plenty of time. Everybody has had plenty of time, right? So we're gonna go to our videos, our live videos. <laughs> I love it. You're cheering for each other. Okay, we're going to grab the link for today's video and put that in. And how many commenters do we have live with us right now? I love it. You guys are congratulating each other. Oh, I got to click the search bar. <laughs> 
the commenters that we have right now are 125 of you. Woo! Awesome! We're all done with Thanksgiving, right? And our winner, our first winner is... Who is it? Darlene Gabrielle. Yay! Awesome! Congrats! And she put a little emoji in there. I love the emojis. Those, they're so much fun to add to our comments. She wrote, good morning. Thank you. Congrats to all of you. I'm going to click on her name just so that we make sure we get, a, get in touch with her quickly. Okay. We're coming back. We're going to come back to my desk. And I want to show you. So these are the, pro um, this is not, this is the prize that I'm drawing for. This is the one that Darlene gets without the bone folder, unless she wants a used one. I can certainly add that. And then the prizes from the other two winners. Um, whoever gets in touch with me first, I have refill cutting blades for our past trimmer. I have a blender pen. This works with watercolor inks. I have a roll of retired white satin ribbon, and I have Purple Posy ink pads, which um, they, they discontinued because the ink wasn't perfect. Now, I have a Purple Posy ink pad that is working just fine, um, so I'm not sure. It would be ink for, at least for a while if you, if you like that color and you don't have this pad yet. Okay. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. What else do I need to tell you guys before we leave? Um, looking through my notes here. So if you don't already have a demonstrator or you are not a demonstrator yourself and you want to shop for products, um, you can go to my um, online store by clicking on shop or going to stampyourartout.com and clicking on shop. Also, um, next week we will do another live. I love my Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings, 11 a.m. Central Time, and we'll do another live then. That will be December 11th. Um, there will be some time off during Christmas, New Year's. I'm not sure what days I took off, but next week will work for me. So I hope that, uh, hope that you are going to join me then. Um, showing off new products at 2.30ish today, that's my plan. My son is performing at um, his grade school that he used to attend. So his middle school is driving there today. In fact, they're driving to a whole bunch of schools right now and performing all over. Um, so I am going to be visiting his school and hopefully be back by 2.30. And then I will open my box with you guys and share with you some more new products. If you did not see my first box opening, you'll want to join my um, group. Again, it's Stamp Your Art Out with Rachel's exclusive group. Um, you can find that on the page that you're on. So stay on the page and then join the group and uh, join early because right before I go live, I'll just approve everybody to come in. And once I go live, I can't. So <laughs> join early. And that'll be 2.30 at uh, Central Time. Make, oh, I had to tell you this too. So I, I'm using my Monovision, right? One contact, which is working out pretty okay. I'm still trying to get used to it. But I bought new reading glasses a couple weeks ago and one of them, gosh, would have looked so good with this shirt. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> thanks you guys. I'm so happy that you joined me. This is one of the highlights of my week. I love you all. And I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. See you next week.